we're teammates and if we have disagreements, uh, we shouldn't be fighting in front of 50,000 people. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 disrespectful soccer moments caught on camera. Well, he may have a smirk on his face now, but he may not when the full ramifications of that incident become clear. For this list, we'll be looking at the worst incidents of terrible sportsmanship and behavior in professional football seen on screens. Overall, who's the most disrespectful footballer of all time? Let us know below. Hey, Mojoholics. For a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com play. Number 10, Luis Suarez. In recent years, Luis Suarez has been one of the most controversial players. Not only did he take a chomp out of three players, but at Liverpool, he was also punished for racist behavior against Manchester United's Patrice Evra in 2011. When the two teams faced off in 2012 in the Premier League for the first time since the grim incident, the Uruguayan purposely skipped the French international during the handshake at the start, provoking Evra to erupt in anger. But the legendary left-back got some revenge by celebrating United's 2-1 win right in front of Suarez, which caused officials to get involved. But it is United who've won it, and Evra is enjoying the moment fully. Afterward, players and managers were unhappy with Suarez's snub. As such, the striker apologized for his sketchy behavior. Después lo de lo de racista me duele por por eso mismo por lo del tema de las pruebas, ¿no? Number nine, Paulo Di Canio. For West Ham United fans, Paulo Di Canio is an icon. Di Canio, sportingly, almost unbelievably catches the ball there. What nerve does that take? For other football fans, he's problematic. After all, he famously did a fascist salute when playing for Lazio and has spoken about supporting that ideology. In September 1998, the Italian forward was playing for Sheffield Wednesday in the Premier League against Arsenal. Very silly. No reason for Di Canio to get involved at all. After a little skirmish, Di Canio grabbed at the face of Martin Keown. Unsurprisingly, referee Paul Alcock lifted up a red card at the striker. Instead of accepting his rash reaction and learning from it, Di Canio pushed the ref, who lost his balance and fell over clumsily. And Di Canio has been sent off and has pushed down, left the referee. Utterly ridiculous. The Football Association issued a massive 11 game ban and a fine of 10,000 euro against Di Canio. Number 8, Lee Bowyer and Kieran Dyer. Teammates are meant to support and encourage each other and strive to act in the best interest of their club. But in April 2005, that definitely wasn't the case for Newcastle United duo Lee Bowyer and Kieran Dyer. Which way will this go? Same way but higher. Same result though. It's 3-0 Aston Villa. It's definitely three points now for Aston Villa. And a thoroughly miserable afternoon for Newcastle United is completed. Near the end of the match with the side down 3-0 against Aston Villa in the Premier League, Bowyer and Dyer began fighting on the pitch and needed to be pulled apart. Oh, there's a fight going on here between two Newcastle players. Kieran Dyer and Lee Bowyer are having a fight. Due to the shameful behavior, both players were sent off. Reportedly, Bowyer was livid at Dyer for not passing to him, sparking the brawl. On top of fines and suspensions handed out by the FA, Bowyer was also fined by the police for using threatening behavior against his teammate. The fans, the chairman, um, the managing staff, all the players, and um, everybody that's connected to Newcastle, um, family and, and everybody that witnessed what happened today on the football pitch. Um, sincerely, sorry. Number 7, Eden Hazar. In January 2013, Chelsea was losing 2-0 on aggregate to Swansea City in the second leg of the League Cup. With final time approaching, winger Eden Hazard took out his frustration in the worst way possible. Precious little hurry there to get the ball back, but what's happened here? One of the Chelsea players, I think, has attacked or certainly has wrestled the ball away from the ball boy. As he went to grab the ball to speed up the game, the ball boy, Charlie Morgan, did his best to waste time as Hazard tried to wrestle the football off him. That's inexcusable by Aiden Hazard. There is no excuse for that at all. The Belgian player then kicked the teenager in the ribs. Yikes. Hazard was understandably sent off for the attack. And it's a red card. Hazard in off. Rightly so. Morgan and the footballer apologized for their respective actions afterward. By the way, Morgan eventually co-founded AU Vodka, a company worth 40 million pounds in 2023. Number six, David Abraham. Team captains are usually expected to be level-headed, inspirational, and rational. Well, none of these matched then Eintracht Frankfurt's captain, David Abraham, when the side took on SC Freiburg in the German Bundesliga in November 2019. 
In the dying seconds of the game, with Frankfurt losing 1-0 and trying to get an equalizer, the ball went out of play. Freiburg manager Christian Streich let the ball pass him and said something to the center back. Abraham didn't like that. He shoulder barred Streich to the floor, causing the Freiburg bench to intervene. On top of getting a red card for his stupid actions, the Argentinian defender was suspended for seven weeks and fined 25,000 euro. Number five, Emiliano Martinez. Argentina goalkeeper Emi Martinez had an outstanding 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Not only did his nation win the tournament, but he played a pivotal role in securing the Golden Glove by amassing the most clean sheets. But as the keeper received his handy award, things got weird during his celebration. Martinez, with a goofy expression, placed the trophy near his crotch and pretended it was a golden extension of himself. The famous image of an official looking less than amused was perfection. Even though the moment was a bit funny, it wasn't the time or place. It got worse for Martinez when his Aston Villa manager, Unai Emery, announced he would speak to his number one about his behavior. Uh-oh. Number 4. Pepe Legendary Portugal, Real Madrid, and Porto defender Pepe is probably one of the dirtiest players to grace the beautiful game. After all, look at the time he booted Javier Casquero repeatedly. That's a penalty! And what about that for a kick? In January 2012, during the El Clásico in the Copa del Rey quarter-final first leg, Pepe let his frustrations out on Barcelona's iconic forward Lionel Messi. With the score one all, the Argentine was darting through Real Madrid until Jose Callejón brought him down, earning himself a yellow card. As Pepe walked over to the ref, he bumped into Messi disrespectfully, then seemingly stamped on his hand. As the referee didn't see the incident, the defender escaped punishment. Afterward, Pepe apologized and claimed it was unintentional, which the Spanish Federation strangely agreed with. Number 3. Select Chelsea Fans In April 1989, the Hillsborough disaster forever shattered English football when a game between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest caused a crush resulting in the loss of 97 lives. Over the course of five minutes, 2,000 fans streamed through, with most of them heading straight to the center pens. Liverpool spent years clearing the fans of wrongdoing and trying to get justice for the families. In April 2012, Chelsea faced Tottenham Hotspurs in the FA Cup semi-final. A moment's silence was held before kickoff on the disaster's anniversary. Instead of respectfully staying quiet, a portion of the Chelsea fans jeered and booed. Some reportedly chanted murderers. The segment was cut short as a result. This sparked other Chelsea supporters to boo those responsible. In April 2023, history sadly repeated itself when some fans chanted similar insults when Chelsea took on Liverpool in the Premier League. Number 2. Luis Moreno In February 2011, Panama defender Luis Moreno was playing for Colombian side Deportivo Pereira against Junior de Barranquilla in the league. At the time, Junior had an unofficial mascot in the form of an owl who lived in the stadium. Unfortunately, he was hit by the ball during the match and was lying on the grass, stunned and likely injured. Instead of helping the creature, Moreno aggressively kicked it off the pitch. Fans, players, and staff were livid at the disgusting attack. They were winning 2-1 against Deportivo Pereira. That was before the bird was struck by the ball. While the beloved bird was taken to a vet, the owl sadly passed away from shock. Moreno was fined 1,070,200,000 Colombian pesos plus veterinary costs, banned for two games, and had to do community service at a zoo. The player, Luis Moreno, has apologized. His team went on to lose the game 2-1. Before we continue... Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Frank Regard Since it's the most prestigious tournament in football, you'd expect players to be on their best behavior during the World Cup. But then there's Frank Regard. In round of 16 at the 1990 edition, the Netherlands faced West Germany. Around 20 minutes into the first half, Regard hacked down Rudy Voller, was booked, then appeared to spit at the German forward. When Voller protested this, he too was shown a yellow card. Moments later, the duo got in another scuffle in the penalty box. This time, both were sent off. As they left the pitch, Regard grossly spat in Voller's glorious perm before jogging away. Due to this, Regard was hilariously nicknamed Llama by the media. It was just one of the most disgusting things I think that's ever been caught on camera. It was a full projectile gob. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.